Today I'm making wedding soap papers with melt and pour soap. I'm also going over the decoration possibilities and how you can easily create such labels. First of all, we need to melt down a melt and pour soap base. I am using an opaque one for this particular project because I'm going for a pastel type of pink shades. Cutting down the base in smaller chunks makes the melting process faster and easier. I will transfer the soap into a double boiler, you can also use a microwave if you prefer, with short increments of 30 seconds. For colorant I chose this vibrant pink pigment that I will mix with some rubbing alcohol to make it easier to disperse with the melt and pour soap. I would like to add some sparkle to the lighter part of the soap as well and I have this silver mica here ready to go. Here is some biodegradable glitter that I keep in a salt shaker for easy use. I will start by sprinkling some to the bottom of the mold that is going to be the top part so to speak. Once the base is fully melted you can go ahead and color it. Here is the premixed electric bubblegum pigment that I will add to the smaller jug. I always start with a little color because I can always add more to achieve the desired intensity. Now I will add the silver mica to the bigger portion. A whisk is my favorite tool to incorporate color in melt and pour. Now it's time to add the fragrance oil. Then you want to give it a good mix. To achieve a gradient look on the top of the soap, I start by drizzling a little bit of the pink soap into the bottom of the mold and give it some time to harden up a bit. Rubbing alcohol helps getting rid of air bubbles. Now let's try a double pour to achieve a marble type of look that you would typically get with the in the pot swirl for cold process soap. For those of you who know cold process soap making. By the way, you will find all tools and ingredients that I am using or recommending linked down in the description box for you to check out if you are interested. Now that all the cavities are filled, I give it a spritz with rubbing alcohol to get rid of all the air bubbles on the surface and then we allow it to completely cool. In the meantime, I will quickly show you how easy it is to create your own labels with the use of Canva. I chose a circle as the placeholder so to speak and then I will browse the library to find a fitting design for a wedding. Let's see what we can find by typing flowers in the search box. I 
As you can see, there are so many possibilities to choose from. Let's go for this one. I then add a text box with the names and the wedding date and find a font that I like. Canva is so easy to use even for people with no previous graphic design education. Link is in the description for you, of course, to check out as well. This one looks great. Now I export it and then I add it to a mask that I created so I know where to place the labels for the printing. You will see this in just a moment. I use a thicker paper of 160 grams that is also satinated, so it's a little bit sturdier than regular paper. Let's see how the soaps turned out. I think they look lovely. For packaging, I have some see-through truffle boxes. The customer didn't want the golden inlay, so I will remove that one. And then I'm going to add the soaps into the truffle boxes. I think this packaging is really very elegant. Here are the labels that we just printed. I will use a scallop punch to punch out the labels and then add it to the ribbon before tying the bow. Fabric and satin are so classy for a gift wrapping in my opinion. What do you think? Of course, these types of soaps are great for any occasion, not only as wedding soap favors. If you are interested in other soap making related videos, check out the playlist on the screen where you will find many more. Feel free to subscribe and see you next time. Bye!